They are searching for a place to poop. To poop. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> My name is Tildor Kabakchev and I ride hard enduro. I started riding bikes when I was four. I got a Yamaha PV50, Santa Claus brought it. <laughs> That's what my parents told me. I remember there was one bump on the grass field. I gave gas on that bump and I jumped so high in my head. So I, I, I wanted uh, my father to take pictures of it. And then when I look at the pictures, the bike is literally that much above the ground. <laughs> My family recommended me that I go study. I have a profession as a lawyer or <laughs> a doctor. <laughs> the, the dream of uh, every parent. I signed up for uh, university for a ship captain and uh, I did one semester there. So I was like, nah, I, I'm out. I, I'm, I'm gonna do something else, but I have to ride my bike. <laughs> To be honest, racing as a career was never seen as possible. I wouldn't say that anybody believed that uh, it can it can be a career choice. Yeah, me too. I saw you yesterday. Yeah, yeah. I saw you. Like Leonor Kabachev, congratulations. Which is the one race you most want to win? The one that's at the top of the bucket list. Red Bull Romaniacs. Birds be singing in the morning Drums be singing in the night But I won't hear them singing anymore Cause I'll be I just like it. It's four long days in the mountains, tough conditions, everybody start, everybody's exhausted. Special event for me because it reminds me of Bulgaria. I moved out of this university and uh, I started studying mining and geodesy in, uh, in Sofia, in the capital of Bulgaria. I was doing both studying and riding bike and racing on a like, local level and a few international races, but uh, not too much outside Bulgaria. I was, I was pretty good, I would say, in that point, but nothing close to what the the, the, the world level was during those times. So in order to, to be able to, to continue racing, I started doing schools and tours in Bulgaria. That's how I earned money, so I can spend them afterwards, you know? <laughs> Thank you.
And actually, that's how I met uh, my sponsor, Econ, the owner of Econ, uh, Nikolai Sobev. Uh, he's the guy that saw my potential and uh, said, like, if you have a dream, go, go chase it. You're young, you have all the, the possibilities in front of you. And I would say that this is the, the turning point in my career because I, I always wanted to, to be the best at what I do, but uh, I didn't really know how it will happen. And Econ gave me this opportunity. Uh, in, that was by the end of 2019. interesting day, <laughs> wasn't it? <laughs> Where do I start from? <laughs> it was just riding in the forest in the beginning. I, <laughs> uh, like, I literally went out of the, the house with my motorcycle and uh, rode with local guys and that was it. On one of the uphills, just in the middle of the uphill, I wanted to go from first gear to second and I hit neutral. I felt like, you know, I'm gonna make it so good and then boom, and the bike stops. <laughs> I said, ha, ah, safe tail. I would say in 2018, 2019, that season, I was really averaged. And it really hurt me, like, on the inside. I, I don't enjoy being, like, just in the middle of the back. It, it makes me feel bad. Like, it's, it's, it's nothing. It's just, it's just racing, you know? It's just a sport. But it's the way, it's the way I am built. I, I'm happy with life, but when I do something, I want to be the best at it. And th 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 those were years where, like, I said to myself, "Look, I'm, I'm either gonna gonna train and get to that next level, or I'm, I'm not gonna do the sport because uh, that, 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 that's the only way I enjoy it. I, I want to be, I want to be the best. I want to be good at what I'm doing." got dark in the forest, <laughs> completely dark, couldn't see anything. I have never experienced a storm like this. Are you enjoying today? Sunday? Raining a bit, yes. Hi Theo. I hope you make it up here. I have lived in an area like that and during one strong wind, all the forest went down, completely down, all the forest. I just imagined it happening you know, while, while everybody is there, you know? It's, uh, it's horror, it's a horror story. Luckily nothing happened, but uh, yes, we like hard enduro, we like tough sections, uh, tough moments, 
but in the end we also have reasonable way of thinking and understanding uh, how precious life is. I rode World Super Enduro Championship in 2020 and I won it. <laughs> I, became a, I became a world champion in the junior category in 2020. That's, that's really where, where it started. Well, it's how much longer? But why the fuck are we riding for so long? I have done boxing, I have done uh, volleyball, swimming, uh, ju uh, just a little bit basketball. I had uh, a few uh, injuries with basketball and uh, I couldn't ride my bike for, what, two months because I played a game of basketball like in between the, the local schools in my hometown and I was like, why am I doing this? <laughs> it, it, it hurt me so bad not riding my bike. So what, what really makes me passionate is hard enduro and I, and I like to, uh, to push myself to the limits. And this is what hard enduro brings me. Day two. <laughs> Did I win it? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> it was really um, a highlight because it's the first time a Bulgarian ever wins a stage in Red Bull Romaniacs and personally I feel good that it's it's me, you know. If you can win a day, you can win two days, you can win three days, uh, you know, and the overall results comes. <laughs> well, I feel like Bulgarians are really are really limited to what they see inside the country. I want to be an example. I want to show that the world has so much more opportunities and and we have to be open and we have to explore and we have to try and 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 keep on doing it until it happens. I want them to be open people. And me also. <laughs> I, 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 I think that this guy wants to show up. Huh? <laughs> he, he's fast, definitely fast in here in the, in the grass field. I'm searching for possibilities, for opportunities to grow as a, as a man and as a rider. And uh, that makes me happy, that, that, that makes me uh, feel meaningful in the, in the game of life, in some sense.
I have never looked on myself from the point of being disadvantaged because this kind of sets your sets your mind in a bad situation. If someone has certain skills, it's because he he, he worked in a in in a way to develop them. For sure, I, I lacked uh, technical skills. And, uh, and and I've been working on it uh, since the moment I, I saw it. It's it's not easy. It's uh, it takes uh, it takes its time, but I'm I'm working consistently, and I think I'm getting much better in in the technical and difficult stuff. I, I try to, to take it as it comes. Having too big expectations before a race just puts you in a position where you're more pressured and you're more tense on the bike. I feel like I don't need this pressure when I'm riding. Like, it's better just to relax and just to focus on the moment. Sometimes I do it better than others, but uh, I feel much better when I'm just relaxed and and being in the moment and enjoying my time because in the end what I enjoy is riding my bike and racing involves it. I always stretch before and after race and before interview. So I stretch before the <laughs> interview and now I have a <laughs> A hole in my pants. There was a steep downhill and I caught Manny again. And I was like, yeah, yeah, let's, let's follow him. So I followed him into the, the, that new uphill which they told us about, the Nosex uphill. When I saw the sign in front of the uphill, I knew that <laughs> it's gonna be a really tough one. I was already like in front of Wade and five minutes behind Billy. Watch out! I was already in a good spot to fight for a podium. Unless like the first day where I saw that it's possible, but it was not clear, you know, the gap was very, very big in the first day. Tell you that watermelon was the best, the best one I have tasted in my life. <laughs> I, I will not tell anyone. <laughs> yeah. Well, just, if anybody else would have been there, it'd be the same. <laughs> I'm trying my best. It's 30 minutes of penalty, 
but uh, I'm I'm winning time each day, so I I really try my best to recuperate as much time as I can. Well, I made it is a really, really complex like sentence because life involves so many things. Like in the end, we're doing a sport. Life involves so many things. Imagining myself being an old guy and just having a retrospection on my life. I, I want to be that guy that, that does not regret anything. Like I, I took the, the, the opportunities, I, I took the decisions that I, I thought were the best at that time. And uh, life, life is choices, choices that we make. And uh, those choices are in our hands. So we're alive, we're now. Made, made the, the final few uphills. The first one's better. The, I struggled the most on the very last one. I just muscled my, my bike up. I was like, I'm not going down again. <laughs> I'm just pulling this bike up. I feel like I have to fight until the, the very last moment because anything can happen in the last five minutes, in the last 10 minutes. It's it's a crazy race. Hey, people! I believe this year the competition was on a much bigger level than last year. Last year it came easy second place and this year I had to fight really hard and I also won two days. So next year for the first place, right? It's the only place you haven't reached yet on the podium. I want to get it. <laughs> I want to get it bad. <laughs> <laughs> The best. What do you think is your greatest advantage? I'm blonde. <laughs> you want to sign in? I want to do less. I kind of wanted to do it this year too. I wasn't. I can vlog you. <laughs> I wasn't 100. Be believers, be leaders, be astronauts, be champions. Be